welcome to another fiber laser tutorial. I've had a lot of people ask me if it's possible to etch, engrave or put a photograph onto metal. Well, with the fiber laser, yes it is. Uh, for the best results, I would say stainless steel is the best uh, material for that. Um, finely brushed or even the you know very shiny type of stainless steel will give you the best results and uh, I've taken this high resolution black and white photograph and you'll notice that um, you know through the center it's very very light in color or white and there's you know quite a contrast between the center a uh, tree in the center there, and the top and the bottom. I wanted a, a, f a photograph that I could show, I suppose, the degree in which the fiber laser can distinguish and can lay down. Um, it can as actually do, you know, a fairly good uh, black and white photograph, because that's what it will appear like, um, of, uh, you know, sort of anything really but it needs to have high contrast in other words it means the whites need to be nice and bright uh, and the darks need to be nice and dark that's why I chose this photograph so if someone gives you a photograph or you you want to put a photograph um, onto stainless steel you know you, you're gonna need to put it through some sort of um, uh, photo editing um, program like Photoshop or something like that uh, to edit the picture so it's uh, you know nice and bright and you uh, and, and convert it to black and white before you start doing that because uh, you know this you can't you, you can't do color it'll be black and white and that's it but uh, let's get on. Okay, so we'll drop down out of that and we'll bring EasyCAD 2 up. Okay, so we're now going to import that photograph, that high resolution photograph, directly into EasyCAD 2. So just come here to File. Uh, it's a bitmap. You must make sure that you, whatever you save your photographs, as don't save them as a JPEG, save them as a, a bitmap. Bring it in. So it's down here somewhere. There it is. And it's very, very big. So let's let's zoom out. It is very big. So we need to bring it down to a manageable size. Uh, but first we're gonna bring this into the center. Now the, a couple of things here you can if you come here to this uh, little set of boxes nine boxes here you can alter the start of the picture then the program whatever it is so it would the orientation then so the orientation now I've just altered that to that corner well actually we do want the orientation to be in the middle so okay that so then we can come here and say okay position this picture in the middle of our work area which is like that so that brings it right into the the, the middle of your work area because it's too big um, and, and that's very important to have it mounted centrally in your work area uh, so we're going to come here now at the moment it's 400 millimeters wide and we have we have a focal area that we can work which is 110 millimeters by 110 um, so I, I just want this about a hundred meters 100 millimeters rather uh, long so we're going to alter this to uh, 100 and we're going to press apply 
and there it is and let's zoom into that okay very very nice crisp um, photograph and you can even see just little hair like lines uh, coming out of the like the sun coming out here and you know the little tiny birds I just want to see too um, what definition the laser is going to make of this uh, okay so for a photograph onto stainless steel I have found that near maximum um, output of the laser is required to you know to do it quickly because um, if you reduce the power you you know you sometimes have to go over it number of times so I you know I don't want to do that I want to do it in in one one go so I'm not using the recommended I'm going to go here and go 250 millimeters per second and here I'm going to go 99 and leave it at uh, 20 Hertz uh, now in the previous video to this I did explain about uh, Hertz um, basically the Hertz uh, means that how many times the laser fires uh, as it progresses along we still perceive perceive it to be one continuous burn but it's actually not okay so that looks good to me so now we can line our piece of work up it's as easy and quick as that okay the first thing to do is set the correct height which in this case for this lens is 168.5 let's have a look which is about there okay beautiful fresh clean stainless steel very funny very very finely brushed I don't know whether you can pick that up I got it set on this wood because it's cold underneath here okay so I'm gonna put that bang in the middle somewhere there so I'll red like that to line it up I'll bring you in a bit closer so you can actually see so hopefully you can see that it's uh, just about make that out I think I just need to square that up a little tiny bit bring it down a little further that's about it okay so turn the red light off and I'm going to turn the laser source on and we'll cut this and I'll try my best to keep the camera in focus
Well, that is really unbelievable quality. It is, well, just like a black and white, high resolution black and white photograph straight onto metal. And this is permanent, um, but I do find, um, especially with uh, if you're doing anything color with either a Moper fiber laser or even these, um, you would need to give it a coat of sealant. Now this is automotive clear coat uh, is what I use and uh, you know it sort of brings it up and protects it uh, even even more. Um, because I do find if, if you use if you do a color job for someone, um, the because you do dealing with an oxide layer, uh, it can degrade over time. This stops it. Okay, doesn't necessarily have to be this particular make, but any good. Um, clear coat for modern uh, paint on cars uh, finish will do the job for well 20 years I suppose um, okay so I hope you've enjoyed the video today if you have please press like and subscribe and if you really like what I'm doing um, and it would assist me to you know, continue on into the future to provide uh, training videos then or uh, how-to videos on CNC machines, lasers and everything else I've got in here. Um, you could consider becoming a patron to the channel because it is the patrons that, uh, you know, allow me to uh, continue making these videos. Uh, and something else people I notice have been asking me quite a lot um, and that is who would I recommend to buy a laser from well I now buy my lasers from Thunder Laser because uh, you know quite honestly they are the best quality and the best bang for buck on the market uh, and I I wouldn't use any one else actually. Um, this laser I did acquire uh, a year or so ago before I uh, started dealing with Thunder Laser but uh, quite honestly I wouldn't deal with anybody else now. Um, and they have a, a worldwide network and uh, you know if you buy a machine in America or the UK you pick up the phone and um, you want uh, any information about lasers or if uh, you have uh, a problem of well how do I do this uh, you can ring them up and the people in those individual countries as well as Australia um, well they're Australian or American and you get the right answer and of course all the equipment is European and American standards. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> the standards of equipment that come normally come out of China um, don't meet the modern day standards at all. Uh, you know, things have changed over the last two, three years, and uh, you know, it uh, it just doesn't meet the new standards but uh, all thunder laser equipment does okay so thank you for joining me for this uh, I think uh, three little videos that I've made now for this weekend and uh, come back and have a look see what I'm doing some other time so thank you for joining me and it's bye for now Thank you.